Hey, what's up guys? Stephen Cult of Mac here, and we're only two months into 2017, and already we're looking forward to the next big iPhone release. So in this video, I'm going to talk you through all of the recent rumours for the upcoming iPhone 8. So let's get started. Let's kick things off with design. The iPhone 7's design was almost identical to the much-loved iPhone 6 from 2014. So it's almost certain that we're going to see an all-new design for the 10th anniversary iPhone 8. One of the more interesting rumours is that we might see a ceramic unibody similar to that of the new Apple Watch edition. With ceramic being four times harder than stainless steel, and a fair bit prettier, it would be an ideal material for Apple's next generation smartphone. And that doesn't mean we'll only get a white ceramic iPhone. If you're a traditional watch fan, you'll know that high-end models have bezels made of ceramic that can be pigmented to almost any colour. Best of all, ceramic is almost impervious to scuffs and scratches, so unless your iPhone is on a bed of diamonds, the chance of it getting scratched up during everyday normal use is next to none. Ceramic is also terrific at dispersing heat. So good in fact that it was used by NASA on the Space Shuttle Orbiter to prevent it from melting during re-entry. So if Apple used ceramic for the new iPhone, the device's shell will be much more efficient at carrying heat away from the processor and other internal components. The only downside to a ceramic iPhone 8 is that whilst it's nearly immune to scratches, a drop onto a hard surface could completely shatter the body of the phone. Manufacturing is also more expensive, so a ceramic iPhone could prove more costly than an aluminium model. Another route could be in the iPhone's past. There's rumours that Apple could go back to having a glass chassis, similar to that of the iPhone 4 and 5, in order to enable wireless charging. Reliable Apple analyst Ming-Chi Koo claims that all 2017-era iPhones will boast this feature, allowing us to finally ditch the cables. Apple has been developing wireless charging technologies for some time, but is yet to be delivered. Meanwhile, rivals like Samsung, which have been offering wireless charging for years, have been mocking the iPhone in ads for not delivering. But they could regret that. The rumours claim that Apple's wireless charging technology will be much better than what's already available today. The company has hired a number of charging experts in recent years to make that possible, including two former U-Beam engineers that helped develop ultrasonic charging tech. Further backing this up is a recent patent Apple filed for a wraparound glass enclosure that will be perfect for an all-glass iPhone 8. Designed to be thin and light, but also robust, scratch resistant and radio transparent. If Apple went down this route, the iPhone would require hardly any metal. Also, by using a glass tube rather than an enclosure of several different layers, Apple makes it easier to make the device water resistant. Avoiding metal also means there's no need for antenna bands because the enclosure wouldn't interfere with wireless radios. Another rumour that supports the curved glass and metal frame design claims that Apple will adopt a new manufacturing process for its metal frame, using a stainless steel forging process as opposed to the traditional CNC machining. This will enhance its sturdiness, reduce costs by 30 to 50%, and also reduce manufacturing time according to DigiTimes. No matter what material Apple decides to go for for the new iPhone 8, we're pretty certain that it's going to boast an IP68 rating for water resistance to catch up to the Galaxy S7. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus saw a ton of delays when it was released, especially for the all-new Jet Black version. But thankfully, Apple has added another manufacturer to its iPhone 8 team. Wishtron, which previously gained experience as an Apple supplier on secondary iPhone handsets such as the iPhone 5S and iPhone SE, will join established suppliers Foxconn and Pegatron. Wishtron hasn't commented publicly on the orders, but has recently noticed that it's upping its investment in a plant based in Kunshan, China from $135 million to $200 million, and that this plant will focus on manufacturing mobile devices. One of the craziest rumours to come about is that the new iPhone 8 may come with new facial recognition technology using actual laser beams. Cohen and company analyst Timothy O'Curry told investors that by adding lasers near the front-facing camera, Apple will be able to death map objects, and that the camera can also be used for image recognition, enhancing security and augmented reality. Other features to appear include some form of facial or gesture recognition supported by a new laser sensor and an infrared sensor mounted near the front-facing camera. Adding laser sensors to the iPhone 8 could make a lot of sense though. Back in 2013, Apple bought PrimeSense, which makes infrared sensors. On top of all of this, I'm expecting to finally see OLED screens make their way to the new iPhones, improving the colours and contrast of the screen, along with the standard affair of upgrades, including an improved camera and new A-series processor. The home button may also go the way of the headphone jack, instead incorporating the fingerprint sensor to the bottom of the screen. Well, that's it for this video. We're not expecting to see the all-new iPhone 8 until September of this year, but let me know in the comments section down below what you'd like to see for the 10th anniversary iPhone. Also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.